Hey guys, Cousin Friendly here. In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can achieve this effect using Elementor. That is whenever you hover over the text, the images change. So here you can see in this demo that I have created, I have the text towards the left side and then the images towards the right side. And when I hover over the text, so for example, if I hover over this John, do I have different image? And if I hover over this Jonathan, I have different image and then if I hover over this Jeremy I have different image and then for the Cindy I have different image. You can change the images, you can change this title and you can change this text here. You can also change these names here any way you want. So in order to achieve this effect we will be using a free plugin not any kind of a paid plugin we'll be using a free plugin. So if you want to learn that how you can achieve this kind of effect using Elementor with a free plugin then without further ado let's get started. Before we get started, if you are someone who always try to achieve new things using Elementor, I have turned up further videos created on my channel. You might be interested in watching those videos as well. Alright, so let's get started. So first thing that you want to do is to go back to your dashboard. And once you are in your dashboard, you will head over to this plugins section. And once you are in the plugin section, there is one plugin that you want to search for and that is dynamic visibility for Elementor. This is completely free plugin. If you, if you will click on this add new button and if you will search for dynamic visibility for Elementor, you will see this plugin. So simply click on this install button here and then click on activate this button. Once you will activate this plugin, the next thing that you want to do is to go to the pages where you want to create that effect. So you will go to the pages where you want to create that effect. So in my case, I'm using this team space already. So I'll click on this edit with Elementor option here. Once this will get loaded, I want to get rid of what's already there. So for now, I have this blank page. So first thing I want to do is to click on this add a new section. And in here, I want to add two columns. So in the two columns, first of all, I want to add some padding. So I'll add 5% padding on the top and 5% padding on the bottom. Then what I want to do is to add the inner sections here. So I'll insert the inner section and then I want to get rid of the second column in the inner section and then I want to insert the title widget here. In here, I'll add the names for the team members. So John Doe. So I'm adding the names of the team members here. Jonathan, Cindy. And then the last one that I want to add is Rhea. So you can add as many team members as you want or you can add as many text as you want. Then on this column towards the right side, I want to insert an image box. Not the image, but the image box. So I'll insert the image box here and then I'll click on the image. And from this image, so for example, for the first one, I want to use this image. So I'll click on insert and then I'll copy this title from here. And I'll insert the title here and I'll change the designation. Then what I want to do is to reduce the spacing, increase the width. We can go 100% or anywhere near 90%. Then for the content, I want to reduce the spacing as well. Right. Once that is done, what I want to do is to click on this navigator and then in the navigator, I want to click on this image box and then I want to rename this as the name of this team member or this team member. That is very important. Then for the next one, I want to copy this designation and this time I'll simply duplicate this one. And in here, I'll insert the name and then I'll change the image so that we can see if the effect is working. And then in the navigator, I want to rename this one as well. And for the third one, we have Cindy. And for this one, I want to duplicate this image also. And then I want to change this image to something like this. And then I'll change the title and then I'll add the name. Now the last one, I'll duplicate this and then I'll copy this name and in here I'll update the name and then I wanna change the image. In here, in the navigator, I'll change this as well. Alright, so till now we have added the team member's name and the images related to the team member. So now what you wanna do is to click on this inner section column and then you'll go to advanced. In the CSS ID, you wanna insert T1 because this is for team members, I'm using T1. In your case, you can name it anything you want. For the Jonathan, I wanna name it to T2. For the Cindy, I'll add as T3. And for the Rhea, I'll add as T4. All right. Next thing that you want to do is to click on the image next to it and then go to advanced. In the CSS classes, you want to name it as data. You'll have to assign the same class to all the images that you have in here. So I want to insert the name as data 
and then for the last one i want to insert the css class as data all right once again i want to click on this first image and this time i'll click on this visibility tab and in here you'll click on this visibility and on here make sure you click on this keep html then you will scroll down and in here you will see an option that will say events so click on events and in the events it will say click mouse over double click let's start touch move so i want to click on this mouse over that is hover and then trigger on this element that is the id that we have assigned in here so for this image i want that whenever someone hover over this text this image should appear so i want to link the id here so for that i want to insert the hash symbol here and then i'll insert t1 and in this hide other elements and in this hide other elements i want to insert dot date so that we only have this image appear and the rest of the images in here should get hidden and should not be visible and then i want to click on on page load so that whenever page load this image should appear automatically and the rest of the images should be hidden the same thing i want to do with the next image that we have for jonathan i want to click on this visibility and then i'll click on this visibility enable and then i'll click on keep html and i'll click on this events then i'll click on most over then in here this time i want to keep it as t2 and in here i'll add it as t data and this time i will not uh, check mark this on page load because i only want one image to be appear and the rest of the image should not be appear so i'll not click on this on page load for the next image cindy i want to go to visibility enable the visibility click on keep html and then for the events i want to click on mouse over in here i'll add the css id of t3 and then in here i want to add the class that we have attached then the last one for ria i want to go to visibility tab again click on visibility and in the visibility tab i'll click on keep html okay in some cases if you forget to click on this if i go to events we will read this using an event trigger is necessary to activate keep html so if you will not activate this html option here this events won't work so i want to click on this mouse over and then in here this time i want to name it as t4 because this is g4 and this is image number four and then once again hide other elements i'll add dot t data here and then i'll hit update before we preview this what i want to do is to click on this column and in here for the widget spaces i want to make it zero so that we don't have any widget spacing here i'll hit update here and now if we preview this on the browser you can see that here we have image if i hover over to the text you can see that we have different kind of images here so in my case this image is bigger that is why it's taking more space but in your case you should always use the images with the same dimension so i hope you have learned something new from this video if you have learned something new from this video make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit up the bell icon so that you will always get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you very much i'll see you in the next video